Hello Blender people and welcome to the second Blenderpedia tutorial. Um, in the previous tutorial I told you something about uh, the very first basic things about Blender. What I didn't told you were a couple of other things. Uh, things like uh, a grid. Things like what exactly 3D is and how to work with it and how to react on it. Sounds a pretty sounds pretty weird, but I think you need to know really to know what 3D is and what you can do with it. You see, when I turn my object around, we see a 3D object. When I press the seven button, it's just a two-dimensional object. Well, it's you think it's pretty easy, so uh, this is 3D, but it's always a 2D object. What I'm trying to tell you is what, where are you working at and what you're doing. This is a cursor grid. When I'm pressing the C button and I'm pushing the middle mouse scroll button, it's the center of the screen. When I press 7, zoom in a bit and pressing it like here, pressing C again, making it center. Pressing the scroll button, this is the middle of the center, you see? Pressing 7 again, zooming out, making the cube. Well, when I hit Shift S, pressing the uh, mouse button here, cursor to selection, you see it in the middle, pressing C, this is the middle of the screen. And we're turning around the cube, the 3D cube. Well, my eyes think this is 3D, so cool, we're gonna use it. And we can make everything we want, we can make games, we can make movies um, with 3D models you can do a lot what I wanted to tell you now is how to put um, texture on our 3D model um, what I gotta do is erase the cube zooming out a bit and let's think what we gonna do I think I want to make a um, 3D brick wall on a floor. So, if we want to make a floor, we need to make a plane, a flat plane. So, I hit spacebar, go to add, mesh, plane. And I want to resize it, the double size, pressing the S button, pushing 2, it's double size. What I'm going to do now is um, making a wall. So I press spacebar, mesh, cube, and here it is. But it doesn't seem like a brick wall. It's a very ugly cube. So we go put it up, put it upwards, like here. Now we, we're going to do something else. We're going to scale it, pressing the S button. Uh, like this size, putting it down. We want to see the floor, so I press the Z button. You see the floor is this black thing. Put the cube a bit down, like here. Right. Pressing 7 with a top view. And we're gonna scale it again. I'm pressing the S. And what I'm gonna do now is not this. I want to scale it in this position, the right position, and the left position. So I'm pressing the X button, S, so, and now I'm pressing X. You see, this happened. And I wanted this, make it this size. But this is pretty, this is not really a nice wall. So I'm gonna scale it again, pressing the S, Y, scaling it like this size a bit here all right I have a side view I think this is cool yes you see this is a wall well we go to camera view make a render and we have a plane and a brick wall but it doesn't seem like a brick wall so we need the texture and we go to the next step and make a UV map what I'm going to do now is close this window, go to the top view, 
press the tab button so I'm in the edit mode you see edit mode and we see verticals well this this step is very easy maybe it sounds very difficult but it's really easy I'm just hitting the U button I'm gonna unwrap it I go to this button I go to UV image editor and we see a square and what I'm gonna do now is load up a texture and putting it up right here you can do it you can do this uh, much easier but I'm doing it this this way because I gonna like it go here go to E this one uh, a brick small wall open image and you see the verticals are around my texture and that's what's what I want so I go back to the, to the view I go to F5 go to this button I go to add new well this is the material screen I'm gonna explain it in the next tutorial for now I just put text face and the reason why I use text face is because this going to this type texture type and we see a brick wall oh shit I think I did something wrong you see we see a texture we're seeing it but what happened is I just put it on it on the wrong way. I'm doing it now on the other way. So I'm pressing one vertical, the second one, third one, fourth one, and we see a face. This is a face. Four verticals making a face. I'm pressing the U button, unwrap it, and see what happens. But it's not what I want. I go to the UV image editor pressing right mouse button here and there uh, putting it right like this way I want to make it a bit flat so I'm putting this one here putting it right there and look what happened we have a nice brick wall this looks very cool well if you go on top view this looks very shit so I'm selecting this one here here and here we got a face again pressing the U button we're gonna unwrap it go to UV image editor um, I'm gonna select them all I'm gonna rotate it and what I'm doing now is um, trying to make a nice top view just give it a try I don't know what happened well, this isn't what we want. It's just big bricks, and here are small bricks. So we have to resize it again, like this. See what happened? No, I did something wrong. Sorry if I'm confusing you. <laughs> it's still shit. Well, you have to try to make it cool. I don't know what happened now looks here I'm selecting these ones unwrap it to scale it a bit right here so wow we've got the cool bricks it's not still not very good but just just give it a try I think it looks very cool. We go to the camera mode and we're gonna make a render. Well, this is a render but still not cool because we have to change the light. We go to top view, go to object mode, getting the light, putting it here. We grab our camera, go to the side view, bring it a bit back, down, bring it here just a nice view go to top view zero and make render wow this is a brick wall and you know if you if you can make this brick wall you can do a lot of other things and of course we can put on a texture on the plane but you can do it by yourself you know how it works you just select the verticals uh, go to the UV uh, image editor and put on an image put on grass 
or just a brick wall, whatever you like. Well, this was my second tutorial video, I hope you like it, and maybe see you back in another video. Bye.